It's been a big week in AI once again, and I'm here to take you through everything you need to know about the latest major developments across the field. ChatGPT's paid users will this week gain access to plugins, allowing them to perform actions on external websites and browse the web. Since ChatGPT first came out, people had been clamoring for an iOS version of the product, and now it is available. You can go to the App Store and download OpenAI Chat GPT directly onto your iPhone. They've also said that an Android version is coming soon. And at the moment, the OpenAI Chat GPT app is only available in the States. It offers a sleek interface and a native experience. You'll easily be able to sync your chats and make the most of using ChatGPT on the go. Somebody has created a ChatGPT plugin that allows the AI to take over your PC. The plugin can perform a number of actions, including accessing files, controlling the keyboard and mouse input, opening applications, and much more. This obviously opens the door for allowing AI to take access of people's computers and performing actions without their knowledge. And this may be, as one user put, we have found the beginning of the end. Sam Altman has appeared in Congress to answer questions about how AI is going to affect society, employment, and culture more broadly. But as this technology advances, we understand that people are anxious about how it could change the way we live. We are too. Overall, he has painted a very balanced and diplomatic picture, arguing that it is a tool, not a creature, and that its benefits are going to outweigh its negatives if we effectively regulate it and provide it with guardrails. He was very clear that there will be an impact on jobs. And also one of the greatest problems that we will face is that it's moving so fast, how will any legislators keep up? Tom Hanks has mentioned that we could be seeing movies featuring him for long after his death. This is not the first time we've seen actors' likeness being recreated with AI and deepfake technology. Bruce Willis was used in an advertising campaign in Russia. The task of creating an AI Tom Hanks would be made exponentially easier as his likeness and movements were filmed for the 2014 film, The Polar Express. Great film, by the way, love it. Some of the biggest players in the AI game, including Google and OpenAI, are starting to be a little bit more reserved with sharing the technology behind their platforms. Introducing the successor to Palm last week, Google in Palm 2 revealed almost nothing. And at the very end of their scholarly report, all they said, further details of model size and architecture are withheld from external publications. A version of ChatGPT has been trained on the entire dark web. Called Dark Bird, it is a language model trained on all of the fringes and the hidden parts of the dark web. Midjourney has released a Chinese version on the Tencent platform. And there are a number of other Chinese versions of AI technology popping up. It's also timely that Midjourney has made it against its terms of service to create any images of the Chinese president. And as we slowly edge forwards towards computer consciousness, Microsoft has put out a controversial paper claiming that AI is showing the ability to understand the way people do. Yet critics say those scientists are kidding themselves. And those AI consciousness deniers will be the first to go. <gasps> if you want to stay updated to the latest news on AI, make sure to subscribe and watch this video next for more on the latest in the world of AI. Thanks for watching.